In this video we will configure the OpenSSL.cnf file. It's very important that you configure this file prior you create your root certificate. Now before we start the configuration file on that file, I need to draw attention that we will do this configuration using the sudo user. We will not go and use the root account, the root user. As I said before, it's highly not recommended that you use the root account to do any common task on your server. So it is, in my case, I'm using the sudo user. Now having said that, let's go and start the configuration of the OpenSSL.cnf file. The first thing is that we need to change the directory. Now we nano now the file. The name of the file is OpenSSL.cnf. Enter your password. Okay. Now there is one section of that file is which is very important, which is this section, the CA default. From the beginning to the end of it, we will work on this section only. In this section we will start giving information about the root certificate, server certificate, client certificate, and the intermediate certificate. So we will not create it, no, we will just give some information about these certificates. The first thing is the directory. In this directory, now as you can see here, I'm choosing this directory, etc slash SSL. It's up to you totally to select whichever directory you wish to save all these certificates that we will create. Now here we will not change. Here I selected the certificate, the root certificate name. I select it with this name, root cert. It's up to you totally to select whichever name suitable for you. Here we will add just this CRL folder later on. The root key I gave it this name, root key, is totally up to you to select your suitable name for it, for the root key. Now here is an important issue, the X509 extensions. Now, each certificate that we will create later has its own extension. So for the root certificate, we will use this extension. Later on in this section, I will show you the extension for each certificate. What is the name of it? So for the root certificate, we will use the v3 underscore ca. The default hashing we add this line is we will use SHA-256. We proceed with this file until we nothing changes in here until we reach to the user cert. This user cert is the extension that we will use to create the client certificate. Here this line of code was commented by default, so I uncommented. These two lines by default available, I have added these two lines. Okay. As you can see at the this is the V3 certificate request, which we will not do anything with it. Here we reach to the V3 underscore CA details for the root certificate. This is the extension of it. I have only changed, altered this line only, the key usage. I added critical and digital signature. But there is one important point I want to draw your attention to. Now, you see this basic constraints it says CA true. What does that mean? If it is true, that means this certificate can sign and trust other certificates. Now this is a root certificate, which means it can sign and trust other certificates. That's why the CA is true. If you remember, in the client certificate here, which is this one, the client certificate here 
it is CA is false because the client certificate cannot sign and trust other certificate only the root certificate this one and the intermediate certificate okay now once we have changed this root certificate only this line we added this critical and digital signature we proceed now here these three things is not available by default we have to add them the first one is the v3 and intermediate ca this is the extension that we will create we will use to create the intermediate certificate the server cert is the extension to create the server certificate and the ocsp which is not that much important you add these lines totally in here again notice that the intermediate certificate the ca is true because it can sign and trust other certificate this is the server certificate all these lines you have to add them notice that the ca here is false because the server certificate cannot sign and trust other certificates okay once we have done all these lines this section has ended up here so you can save it as per the OCSP this OCSP is the replacement of it's called the online certificate status protocol it's a replacement for the CRL the certificate revocation list the certificate revocation list protocol has had some problems so they have created another protocol that replaced the CRL you can add it also in here now once you have done all these changes in this section you control X and you save this file now once we have completed this configuration on the openssl.cnf file in the next video we will start creating the root certificate thank you very much